find the value. We're going to review for the test, or the quiz actually, the test not for a while. Find, find the value for the given polynomial. when x equals 3 and part b when x equals negative 2. And the polynomial is x squared plus 8x minus 5. What is the value of that expression when x equals 3? That's the first part, part a. So part a when x equals 3. So replace x with 3. Nine. You'll have 3 squared, yep, plus 8 times 3 minus 5. Notice all we're doing, we're just replacing x with 3. Jamie said that's 9. This is plus what? 24 minus the 5. What's 9 plus 24? 33. 33 minus the 5. 28. Part B, repeat the process now, but when x equals negative 2. So it's negative 2 squared plus 8 times a negative 2 minus the 5. What is negative 2 squared? 4. 4. Very good. This will be a minus, right? 8 times 2? 16 minus the 5. We can take the first two numbers, 4 minus 16, which is? 12. Negative 12, right? Minus 5. What's negative 12 minus 5? Negative 17. Negative 17. So that's the first question. Let's try another one. I'm going to mix and match. I'm not going to tell you what sections. I'm just picking problems. I don't want to pick them in any order. Question number two. Simplify. Three M squared over p to the ninth squared. Now the rule is power to power, what do we do? We multiply, right? So the initial power of 3 is 1, so this will be what? 3 to the power, what is 1 times 2? 2, m to what power? 2 times 2, 4, p to what power? 18, very good. The only thing you need to do now, you can't leave it 3 squared. They want you to find out what is 3 squared. 3 squared is what? 9, m to the 4th over p to the 18. Question three, write in standard notation. We're going to give you a number in scientific notation and change it to just a number in standard form. What do you think? So really in scientific notation. 
I need to change it to a standard form. Notice your exponent here is negative, right? So you gotta move the decimal point to the negative direction. The negative direction is which direction? To the right or to the left? To the left, how many places? Six. Six. So here's the number, 3.12. Move the decimal point in the negative direction six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. The decimal point goes right here. Any empty spot you have to put in what in it? Zeros. So the answer is point zero 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 three one two. Now some people might want to put a zero on the front, that's fine, either way is good. One is not better than the other. Just some people like to put a zero, others don't like it. So either answer is good here. Question number four. What is negative 10 to the power of zero? Try again. I heard, I heard negative 10. I said try again. One. one. Why one, Jamie? Anything to the power of zero is one. Anything to the power of zero is one. Good. Except zero to zero. So anything to the power of zero is one. If that question was this way, then what's the answer to that? negative one very good why because only 10 raised to the power of zero not the minus only the 10 that's the one the minus sitting in the front question number five simplify And I have x cubed plus 6x squared plus 19 minus 4x squared minus 8x minus 7. Now I want to simplify that. And I like to write my answer in descending power from the highest to the lowest. What is the highest power here we see? X to the third? Yeah. And do we, do we have more than one term or just only one? Okay. Only one, so you can't really add or subtract anything to it. So that's X to the third. What about X squared? I see two of them. I see this and I see that one. I can combine them together and make one out of them. What is plus six minus the four? plus 2, x squared, good. Next will be what? The x, and there's nothing to add or subtract from it. Negative what? 8x. And the last thing is the plus 19 and the minus 7. Plus 12. And that will be my answer for that one. Let's simplify again. I have 5x minus 8x minus 9. 5x minus the quantity parentheses 8x minus 9. Good. The minus sign change says change all the signs inside the parentheses. So this becomes what? 5x minus 8x plus 9. Excellent. And now these two are like terms. You combine them together. What is 5 minus 9? Negative 3x plus what? 9.
Let me write this differently. Subtract ten x to the third plus five x squared plus twelve x minus five from eight x to the third minus 2x squared plus 7x minus the 3. That's what the question is. I wrote them differently. Subtract this one from this one. How do we write them mathematically? Is it this one minus that one? Let me try again. Is it this one minus that one? Or is it this one minus this one? Subtr it says subtract. Take away this from that one. The from one should be first. Because this one you have, and you want to take away from it that piece. So the question should be really 8x to the third minus 2x squared plus the 7x minus 3. That's what you have. And you want to subtract from it. You want to take away from it this piece. Don't write them backward. If you write them backward, you got them wrong. Because every sign will be backward. It's this one. It says subtract this piece from that piece. This is what you have. And you want to take away from it that piece. And we're going to do what we did earlier, which is a negative sign in the front is going to change all the signs on the inside. That becomes negative 10x to the third, negative 5x squared, negative 12x plus the 5. Like terms. This one and this one. 8 minus 10, negative 2x to the third. The squares, this one and this one. Negative 2, negative 5, it's negative 7x squared. The x's, we get this with that. Plus 7 minus 12. Negative 5x. And finally, the constant, negative 3 plus 5, which is, two. try again, two. plus 2. Yep. And that will be my answer for that one. Again, the most common mistake on that one, people will write this one minus that one, which should have been the reverse. Number 8. Write the expression. Without negative exponents. Write the expression without negative exponents. What you have is 8 x to the negative 6, y to the 4th. Remember what I said last time, make it a fraction. Over what? One. Over 1. What did I say about negative exponents? Cross the, beside don't like them, cross the line, change the sign. Change the sign. Cross the line, change the sign. So when you have negative exponents, if it's on the top, bring it down. When you bring it down, you're crossing that line, you'll change the sign of the exponents. This will be what? 8y to the fourth over what? x to what power? 6. That's it.
Again, I'm not going any order. I'm just picking problems from all four sections in any order. Simplify, that was number nine, I think. This one? Mm -hmm. i just take it back when you're done. Five X squared plus eight X plus X plus six plus three X to the third plus six X squared. Doesn't really matter if I have two terms, three terms, 10 terms, or 20 terms. My answer doesn't change, so let's write them. Let's remove the parentheses. That's a plus sign, so it doesn't do anything. That's a plus sign, it doesn't do anything. And now we start looking for like terms. The highest power is x to the third, nothing to add to it. The next piece is what? 6x, 5 and 6, the same type, that's what? 11x squared. The next one is the x is 9x, good. And finally, what's left there? The constant, which is what? 6. Simplify again. That's it. I'll make it straightforward. M to the 17 divided by M to the 10th. When you divide, what do you do with the exponents? Subtract. You subtract. 17 minus 10, which is what? Seven. Seven. Rewrite. Using positive exponents, no negative. P to the minus seven. What is it? Divide by one? Okay. Jamie said divide that by one. Thank you. So why do you want to divide it by one, Jamie? Um, make it Cross the line, change the sign, right? So a negative exponent happens to be on the top. If you bring it to the bottom, it becomes what? Yep, positive exponent, that's p to the seven. If you take the whole thing, what's left on the top? One. It's always a one. Anytime you move the whole thing, there's always a one left. Not nothing, not zero, one. So the answer for that should be one over p to the seven. Let's simplify again. A to the minus five to the fourth power. Power to power, what do you do? So that will give me negative 5 times 4, which is what? Negative 20. 
you know they don't like negative exponents. No software, no books like to see the answer with negative exponents. That's over one. Again, cross the line, change the sign. Bring this one down to the bottom. It becomes a to the 20 in the bottom. And on the top, since the whole thing is down, what's left on the top? One. one. Everyone's good, writing? Am I going too fast here? 13, 14, whatever, I stopped counting a while ago, I think it's 13. Simplifying. X to the fifth times Y to the seventh. X to the fifth times Y to the seventh. What is it? I heard X, Y to the 12. Any other choices? I'll say no to that one. I'll give you a hint. No. Any other choices? Go ahead, Carmen. What is it? Come on. Can't. The reason you can't because the base are different. You can only multiply when the base are the same. So if you have, for example, x to the third times x to the second, you go, oh, the base is the same. That's x to what power? 3 plus 2. That's what you're thinking about. That's x to the fifth. When the bases are different, you can't do anything about it. So it can't be simplified. Cannot be simplified. Yep. It can't has to stay x to the fifth, y to the seventh. So if they ask you to write the answer, you can either write the same expression, or if they give you the option, cannot be simplified, that's your answer. You have to leave it like that, yep. Simplify again using positive exponents. x to the fifth, y to the negative 6. Again, anytime you have negative exponents, cross the line, change the sign. Nope. The only thing you're moving is the bottom one. So on the top, you'll have what? x to the fifth, still there, that's positive exponent. y to the 6, what's left on the bottom? 1. You don't need over 1. Yes. I'm looking to see. Maybe I'll do one more. M to the fifth over N squared. The whole thing to it. Negative four. Yep, that would be M to what power? Negative 20, and to what power? Negative eight. negative 8. Notice now both exponents are negative. Take the one on the bottom, move it up. Take the one on the top, move it down. So you're going to have what? N to the 8 over M to the 20. Cross the line, change the sign.